Hello friends, in this video tutorial, let us see some of the SSS database operations of backup and restores, how to detach and attach a database and how to synchronize two databases on two different instances of SQL Server SSS services, right, As analysis services, correct. So now let us go to database. So we will use the same database instance that we have been using for our earlier video tutorials. So we have SSS data mining databases from 1 to 6 and we also have some other multi-dimensional databases that we had created for working with the cubes, right? So as you can see, we have got a database called SSS OLAB DB1, okay? And inside that, there is a sales cube. If we browse the cube, then we are able to browse the data, okay? So I say gender and write status. Okay, so we are able to browse the data of this cube, right? So now let us go and take a backup of this database. Okay, so we'll have to go to backup. Okay, so now before going over here, let us go and see some of the directories that we have created. So this is SSS backup directory. It's the, it is blank right now, and this is SSS restore directory, which is also blank right now. Okay. So let's go to backup directory. Now this is the place where we want to backup our data. Okay, database. So let's go and say backup. Okay, so database name is this. The backup file name will be this. So we want to backup it over here, right? So we want to backup at d colon SSS backup, correct? And the file name, let it be the file name assigned by the system, okay? Now, you will have to provide the password, right? Because we have checked tick this option, encrypt backup file. So let us provide a password, okay? Now, let us click OK. So if everything goes fine, then this, the screen goes away, right? So backup has been taken. So let's go into a backup directory. We can see that this file has been created, right? With the extension of ABF, okay? analysis backup file okay so now let's go and restore this file let's say we want to restore this new database right backup file let us specify the location control a control v so this is the location let us get the name of the backup file okay copy paste okay so this is the name of the backup file so now we have specified the whole path for the backup file. Now restore database. So let us name this database as copy of DB1. Okay. And where do we want to store this location? So now at the time of restoring, let us store it at uh, SSS restore folder. Okay. So we'll store the backup database, the newly created database in this particular folder. So let's take the path. Let's provide the path over here. So storage location will be paste. Okay. Okay. Now let us provide the password because we had encrypted the backup file at the time of taking up the backup. So we'll have to provide the same password when we are restoring the database. Okay. Let's, okay. So now restoring is done. So as you can see in this folder, which was empty till now, now a new backup directory has been created. Now it is important to note over here that the databases in SSAS exist on the physical drive as a directory. Okay. So this is actually a directory, .db directory. It's, it's like a folder. Okay. So if you go and see its properties, it will show as a file folder. Okay. You can share also. Right. So if you go inside it, if you double click it, just like any other folder, then you can go inside it and see its contents, right? So all the data related to cube, dimensions, etc. is stored, okay? And mostly the data, the definition of all the objects is stored in XML files, right? So that also we can see, okay? So this is actually, a, the whole SSS database is actually stored as a directory, as a physical folder in the physical disk, okay? So now, once our SSS database that is copy db1 has been restored, 
let's go over here and now refresh it okay so we can see copy db1 is there now this backup and restore has happened along with the data so let's verify it let's go to browse okay so we can see that the restoring has happened along with the data okay so this completes our two operations backup and restore so let us delete this we don't require this anymore right and if you want you can also so as we can see as we deleted the database from here it has automatically deleted the corresponding directory in the physical disk okay and we can also remove the backup file we don't require this file right anymore okay okay so now now let us see uh, the operation of detach and attach now this particular database if you go to its properties we can see the storage location as default okay so this will take the storage location of the instance itself correct so let's go to its storage location so this is the name of the instance right ssas 2014 okay so this is the name of the instance over here the same name is present as a folder over here ssas 2014 right so if you go inside it if you go to the data folder then over here all the databases are lying so you can see all these directories are there right from data mining 1 to 6 right so, so these are the six databases corresponding databases also olapdb1 is there right so lab db1 is there okay also db234 are there right so db23 and 4 are there so corresponding to every database over here there is a directory over here right so if we detach this particular database let's say we go and detach it then let us provide a name uh, let us provide a password this password will be used when we want to again attach the database okay so let's click okay if you want you can even create the script okay okay so let's click ok so now as we can see the database is gone from here right from the view because it has been detached so if you go over here the physical directory will still be existing which we can attach at any time right so let's go and attach okay so we'll have to specify the path of this particular directory so let's go and copy the path copy Actually, let's go, go and copy the path of this whole directory, right? So let's copy and let us paste, correct? And let us provide the password, okay? If you want, you can make this new database which is being again attached back to the instance as read only also. But right now, we'll keep keep the default option that is, we'll not make it read only, okay? So now, if you go back and refresh. See right now db1 is not there, olep db1 is not present, right? So if you go and refresh, olep db1 comes back. Now let us verify whether it has come back properly or not, whether we are able to browse the data or not, right? So so we can see that we are able to browse all the data, okay? So the detail attach process has been completed successfully, okay? Now let us see one last option that is for synchronize now for this purpose i have created another instance of sql server 2014 analysis services multidimensional okay so this is not a tabular instance this is a multidimensional storage instance so it is exactly similar to this instance right so i have renamed it as uh, i have just given the instance name as underscore copy okay sss 2014 underscore copy now over here right now there are no databases okay so now let us use this underscore copy instance as a backup uh, or a fallback instance, right? So for this, what we can do is, let's say we want to have fallback of this database, okay, uh, on this instance, right? So what we can do is, we can go over here, databases, we can say synchronize, okay, next. So by default, the destination is finalized, right? Destination is this server, underscore copy server and storage location is default which we can change okay but uh, which is the server from which you want to bring the database so this is the server okay this is the main server from which we want to bring the database 
and which database we want to bring OLAP DB1. Okay, so let's click next. Now, one more thing that I would like to mention over here is I have already given necessary privileges. Uh, I have created the necessary login accounts and I will provided proper privileges to the so to the system account that is being used okay for this purpose okay so now let's click next so this time when i run it will not give any access privilege related error okay because i have already given pro provided proper access privileges to the required accounts okay so if you go to services you can see services.msc sql server analysis services copy logon so this is the service account that is being used okay network service slash this one right so i have provided necessary access privilege permissions to this particular account windows account okay with no system account okay so that's why it will not give any error related to access privileges or permissions okay now let's click next let's copy all Let's synchronize now. If you want, you can even save this to a script file and schedule the synchronization on every uh, at the end of every time period interval, right? So right now we don't want to schedule the synchronization, so we will not create a script file, but we'll just directly click the synchronize now button. Okay, so let's click next and let's click finish. So synchronization has started. Okay, so synchronization has completed successfully. Let's click close. As we can see now, a new database has been created with the same name, right? This is the name of the database and all OLAP database and with the same name, a new database has been created in the backup instance, right? And if you see, everything is same, right? The cube name is same, everything is same and if this cube also has got the data, okay? So if you want, you can just go browse the data from here also okay okay so this is the name of the database okay so this is a fully functional database okay now let us detach let us delete this we don't require this right now so let us delete this okay let us disconnect this database instance now one more thing that I would like to show is uh, let's say we want to script the whole database okay then how can we do it we can go to script database create to new editor right so this new script has been created what if we want to create a new database over here with the same structure so let's say we want to create a copy of db1 okay so let us say copy db1 okay so let us give the same name over here Control V. So now if we execute the script, okay, the uh, script has been executed successfully. So now if we refresh, a new database will be created with the name copy db1, which we have provided over here, right? So now if you go over here, see this is a blank database. Only structure in this XML file, only the structure of the database was present. And hence, at the time of creation of this new database with the help of this XML file, only the structure has been created, okay? And this structure is exactly same as this OLAP DB1 database, okay? But it does not contain data, so which means you cannot browse the data, okay? So if you go, it will give such a screen, okay? The error that it is showing is correct, which it, it is saying that verify whether the cube has been deployed and processed or not. So if you want the data in this cube, then all that you need to do is you just need to go and process the database. So I will click OK. And the processing is complete it's close now earlier it was only having the structure now it also has the data okay so now we can go and browse the cube okay sales tax tax amount and let's say customer gender marital status okay so now this is a fully functional database and a fully functional cube okay so i hope friends this video tutorial on backup restore data attach and synchronization of SSS database is useful to you. Thank you.